You want it to last a lifetime? Get good stuff from the beginning. We are back in the beautiful Oaks kitchen and we are here about to use the gorgeous Oaks round teppa. Most of you know teppanyaki. You're probably used to seeing something that looks more like this. Teppan is usually a flat, square kind of area. But we've created here the Oaks round teppan, 4.5 millimeters, as opposed to your average frying pan Listen to this, it's very thin, very light, versus thick, heavy, very professional. What's the difference and why is, is thicker better and heavier better? Why? Because heat disbursement. And that's, we're gonna see this today. We're gonna take these two big, thick steaks and we're gonna cook them both at the same time, one in the Oaks Round Teppan, and what we're gonna do in just a regular, your average, store-bought frying pan. And we're gonna see how a simple steak, what the difference is between cooking it in here versus cooking it in here. Mm. And I think now we're gonna taste it, and we're, gonna, we're gonna try it, and we're gonna see just how delicious this round tampon can create a beautiful, thick, juicy steak like this. We finished our preheating process about three minutes. Manami's gonna go ahead and put some olive oil and some garlic as well to prepare our round tampon. And I'm gonna pull the garlic off of each frying pan right now. Here we go, we've got some purposely, some big thick pieces of, of meat that we're putting on the round tip on all. What a good sound, I love that. Look at the oil in here. If you look at the oil, it is spread, immediately you notice it's spread out evenly across the entire pan. Look at this on your average frying pan though. Here on your average frying pan, you can see the oil kind of doesn't really spread out. That is the beauty of what a tip fang will allow you to do. Here we go, we're gonna cut into both pieces. We're gonna cut into both pieces of steak right now. Go ahead, let's get a good cut. In comparison, look, here is what came off of the Oaks Round Teppan. Look at the inside of it. It is perfectly medium rare. It is gorgeous, it is juicy, it is moist. Over here, what you have is a slightly more rare, non-cooked center portion of the steak. It's more, definitely more rare and more bloody than what you have here. And we went with medium rare for both, so you can see the difference. This is much more thoroughly cooked to the inside, where this is a little bit more, it's cooked on the outside, definitely not as much on the inside. Yeah, I'm gonna start with <laughs> our, our beautiful steak that came off of the Oaks Round Tip Bun because it looks so, so beautiful. This piece right here, oh, just looks so good. Look at that, look at that beautiful piece of medium rare cooked meat. Here we go. Mmm, <laughs> it's soft. Mmm, oh, it's it's just melting inside the mouth. It's really, really beautifully well cooked right through the inside. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try it from here. From here now, a piece from this as well. That does look good too. As you can see, definitely a little bit more raw, a little bit more pink, not as well cooked through the center. Also. We can see, as I was explaining before, this meat has kind of collapsed a little bit, probably due to lack of being cooked well in the center, where this is kind of almost fluffed up, become fluffy in some way. So here's our meat from our regular frying pan. I tried that delicious piece. I'm gonna try this too now. It was good. It was good, not bad. But here's the difference. More chewy, definitely a little more raw. It's tasty, it's not bad, but it, it doesn't have what this had in the sense of just a full, medium, rare cook to it. A little more raw, more cooked on the outside and a little more raw on the inside, giving it kind of a little harder to chew type of thing as opposed to this being a little easier to chew and a little more just melting inside your mouth. That's the difference that I feel. This is not your average cheap frying pan that you're gonna get in the store. This is something, it's gonna cost you a little bit more. You invest a little bit more initially so that you can get more in the long run. This is a lifetime 
round tip button. You can have this for your entire life. This, year or two, it's done. And you won't create anything as tasty as this with a frying pan like that. Okay, when I finally introduce you to something else, this is a this is a steak knife that's been made in conjunction with the round tip bond. Here is a regular, just your average, regular steak knife. You probably have lots of these in your home drawer. Average fork. Let's see what the difference is in cutting a piece of meat. Your regular steak knife cuts pretty much just like, like that. Not too hard, not too bad, but let's see what the difference is in compared to cutting with the Oaks steak knife. Oh my God, look at that slice, look at that. Look at how easy that was to cut, and look, here's the point, look at how clean the cut is. Look at how kinda messed up, and that's the difference. You know, if you're gonna go for, buy good stuff, you want it to last a lifetime, get good stuff from the beginning. That's what we're offering here through Yagi Select, through the Oaks line of, of products. 